Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. In the last episode we took care of the Green Chust Dragon Firebrand and the surprisingly tough Dragoon that uh, was controlling him. So after taking them out, Labbit's got his uh, Jade Dragoon Spirit and he is now another one of the Dragoons. So Shayna is ill and we're taking her to the nearby commercial town of Lohan, which is what I'm in front of right now. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and enter the town. Now there's lots of stuff to get here, so you're going to want to take your time and be thorough so that you don't miss anything. Okay, so the first thing of priority is to take Shayna to the doctor, which is done automatically. <laughs> so we're going to go searching for a plant that no one is even sure if it exists. Hmm. So after the scene, we are on the lookout for some Dragini plant. Alright, so here's where you can do all your looting. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to enter the first house on the right. and then take a left. Here you'll find a crate you can open to get 200G. And go ahead and head over to the east side of town and take the south exit. Here you should come around a corner to a blue door. Go ahead and enter it. And you should see a familiar face.
this is the guy we saved in Volcano Villude. Alright, so he just gave us some information. It looks like we're going to have to go through the uh, the dragon's forest. And there was a plant. I don't know if you remember where Shayna was resting at. But in order to get past it, we're going to have to use the spring water that restores our HP and MP. But before you do that, go ahead and climb the ladder. Go back into the, boss, the boss's shop. Climb the ladder. And then you can climb another ladder. That's not the right one. Climb another ladder and you will be on the upper floor. And check the suit of armor for the first stardust in this town. Now there's going to be a total of four stardust we can get here. Then you can take the pole to get back down to ground level. Now just outside the boss's shop, there's a crate that's really hard to see, but if you open it, you will get an angel robe. Once you've got that, go ahead and head over to the left-hand side of the screen and take the stairs that are spiraling downwards. At the bottom, you should run into a street vendor. So he's trying to sell a bottle of water for 3000 However, if you haggle him by saying it's too expensive, he'll drop the price. 2200 And you can say it's still too much for him to drop it lower. <laughs> and then he says 1000 Try to get as low as you can. 500G. Choose to drop it once more. Hundred G. <laughs> and then just choose to not buy that either. And he'll give it away for free. <laughs> So instead of paying any money at all, if you keep haggling the street merchant down, he will end up giving you the water bottle. 
now that we got that out of the way, go ahead and head to the uh, entrance of town. <clears throat> and you should see a little jar to the north. If you examine it, you'll get the second stardust in this town. So that's two down, two to go. Now, instead of exiting the town, head back to the street vendor, and this time, go right. Now, you should be, uh, should be in front of a arena-type thing. On, off to the right of the screen, you will find a crate that contains 100G. Once you've got that, look for a small animal to the left that mean to exit the screen there and we went too far going inside see here trying to find it there it is look for the small animal to the left and just to the right of him if you continue mashing X it's kind of hard to get but eventually you will find the third stardust once you've got that go ahead and exit and before we leave, we're going to do a little bit of shopping as well as get the final Stardust. So first off, we're going to enter the uh, blue arrow on the bottom. There's two blue arrows on the left-hand side of the town. One on the bottom and one on the top. The one on the bottom is an item shop. So I'm going to quickly sell my extra equipment and items. Let's see here. What do we got? I'm going to I'm going to keep two mind purifiers and two body purifiers. And I'm going to go ahead and buy 10 potions. Once you've got that, go ahead and exit the item shop. And now head around the stairs to the top blue arrow where you will find the weapon shop. Now here you're going to have to run several rooms over to find a ladder and you'll find the item the weapon shop owner at the top of the ladder now this guy has one of the best helmets in the game called the legend cascade now as you can see it's ten thousand dollars which we cannot afford yet we're not even close but look what it does to your magic attack and defense it brings it up to 50 and your magic defense to 151. So this is an excellent, the best helm in the game. So just keep an eye out. And the Phantom Shield is also very uh, good. It reduces damage from all attacks by half. Also it has some very good uh, Dragon Shield and Angel Scarf and the ultimate war god which makes additions completely successful so if you're seeing some additions that are really hard to get and you can't seem to get them right uh, you can buy this and it will automatically perform the addition for you other than that I'm gonna go ahead and buy the cape and equip it to Rose And if you want, you can buy an extra power wrist. I'm going to go ahead and buy one more power wrist. 
and the protector. Once you've got that, you can go ahead and exit the weapon shop. And now we need to get the final stardust in this town before we leave. So go ahead and exit to the back area where the inn was originally. This one's pretty tricky. Hmm. There we go. Oh, nope, that's not it. <clears throat> Alright, so this is what we're going to have to do. Go ahead and backtrack to the previous screen. And we're going to take the upper stairs this time. Here we go. Now you're going to want to enter the first door you come to on the left. I think this is the door. And then you should find a ladder that you can climb. And at the upper second floor, you can examine the center of the bookcase to find a secret path. Here you can take the lower, the ladder to reach the lower floor. And off to the left, you should see a furnace. And if you examine the furnace, you should find the fourth stardust <laughs> so just to double check to make sure you have everything that you can get so far we have come across a total of 14 stardust so once you have all the stardust um, the hidden items and some good equipment go ahead and make your way back to the entrance of town and it is time to head back to the dragon's nest. back to the nest of the dragon <laughs> so first off we're gonna jump back down head back to the water, the pure water that we were at earlier. Now if you want, you 
can take the time to level your characters up inside the forest. But I'm already making pretty decent level progress. So I don't think I need to grind out right now. <clears throat> so go ahead and fall in the far farthest hole in the ground and climb down the vines to find the purified water. So as long as you got the bottle from the town of Lohan, you will get life water from the pool of water. Climb back up the vines to reach the upper area and backtrack to the cobweb so we can climb out of this hole. to the right side where the sign is once you're out of the dragon's nest and you should jump across the stones across the river and make your way to the southwest exit when the path splits you're going to want to head north <clears throat> to find the plant that they were talking about make our way to the plant and go ahead and use the action button to throw the water on the plant and make it wither that opens the path forward so go ahead and follow the path to exit the forest from a different exit and if you run forward, the next area we are going to be going to is the Shrine of Shirley. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and save the game. And that is going to conclude this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. So I'll see you guys next time where we head into the Shrine of Shirley in order to find the Dragini plant that will heal Shayna.